Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to talk about how to get a shiny beldum a little bit easier. This won't speed up the process. I guess it might speed it up a little bit, but it's a way that you'll have one Pokemon that can get in an infinite battle um, with no worries. This could take forever. Um, shiny hunting is for people who have a lot of patience. I don't have nearly enough patience to shiny hunt all the time. I'll shiny hunt once in a while. That's how I got my shiny Umbreon. But for those of you who like to shiny hunt, SOS chaining is pretty good for that. It increases the odds, uh, maxing out at a chain of 70. And Beldum can be annoying to shiny hunt because it knows takedown. So I figured out a strategy, a pretty simple strategy, to make sure that it can't hurt you or itself. And your Smeargle will pretty much be able to battle forever. So all you need to do the first turn is to use either an Adrenaline Orb or an X Attack, whatever. My Smeargle's at too low of a level, so I use an X Attack. Um, then once it uses Takedown, I use Conversion 2. For those of you who don't know, Conversion 2 will transform you into a type that resists or is immune to the last move used. So because Beldum just uses Takedown, it'll either transform you into Rock, Steel, or Ghost. Just keep using Conversion 2 until you get Ghost. This time I got it on my first try. My other practice videos, it took like eight, nine tries. But once you have the ghost typing, you are golden. Now, pretty much all you need to do is make sure... So you can see this Smeargle is probably not at a great level for this. Um, I've already maxed out its attack and I'm still only doing like half damage with False Swipe. So that just makes the battle take a little bit longer, but it's not the end of the world. If, if you're okay with that, that's pretty fine. Um, Beldum's call rate isn't great, so that's a little unfortunate, and you need to make sure you swap up Beldum's, um, I think takedown is 20 PP, and once the Beldum runs out of PP, it's just gonna use struggle, and that's gonna break your chain, which you don't really want, so, um, the Smeargle, I guess I should mention its other moves, so it has conversion 2, it has false swipe to get it down to 1, P uh, 1 HP, it has Recycle and a Lepa Berry to make sure none of your moves ever run out of PP. The Lepa Berry will restore 10 PP automatically to a depleted move, and Recycle will bring back your last used item. So you are pretty much good to go. Because you're Ghost type, you don't have to worry about recovery because you'll never take damage. If you do, it's because of Struggle, and that would break your chain anyway, which is not what you want. And finally, I have Bite because Bite is super effective to Beldum. I have an Adamant Technician Smeargle. You don't need one. Um, one of my other Smeargle that I use is um, Own Tempo, and it's like quirky nature or something. I don't really concern myself too much about nature or ability with Smeargle, but because of this particular Smeargle's ability in nature, which I actually just got randomly, Bite seemed to make sense. So you can see, like, if I were, let's say, level 100, um, this wouldn't take as long because I just, you know, probably one false swipe would uh, take Beldum down to 1 HP. But... What can you do? Um, and yeah, this is pretty much it. You just need to make sure you switch up Beldums um, so that they never run out of PP themselves. Unfortunately, because they only have one move, this will happen fairly frequently, which is annoying. Um, I would say for all the shiny hunts, this is probably one of the more obnoxious ones because there really isn't any other way. So you can use like an Alolan Marowak, for example. That's how um, I got my four IV Beldum is by Alolan Marowak. The only thing with that is if you want a shiny Pokemon, you're going to run out of PP eventually, and you can get a team of six ghosts, but even that will eventually run out of PP. So this Smeargle method ensures that you never run out of PP. Um, but I guess you take the good and the bad, right? The good being you have an infinite battle, the bad being it has a really weak attack, and sometimes False Swipe won't do enough damage. So I guess you'll have to decide whether you want to use like a team of Alolan Marowak or whether you just want to use one Smeargle. Because like a team of six Alolan Marowak, it's going to take a really long time to run out of PP, especially if you go through the battle tree and get some like PP ups or PP maxes. Like you can get Shadow Bone to get, um, what is it? What would it be? Like uh, 18 PP each. And you can teach it other moves like Bone uh, Bone Club, although those can miss, but you can just use an X accuracy. Um, but yeah, that's about it. This is, uh, I don't catch a shiny Beldum here. I just wanted to show off, uh, the method I would use to catch one. If you wanted a Beldum with light metal for some reason, I can't imagine why that ability is completely useless. And its actual ability, clear body, is pretty useful. You can't get any of your stats lowered. But if you wanted a light metal Beldum just to say, hey, I have a light metal Beldum, 
or Metagross or whatever, you would just, uh, I would lead with like an Ariados or something, or yeah, Galvantula is not in this game. Um, use uh, Sticky Web, which lowers speed, and the Beldum that doesn't have clear body won't get its speed lowered. Reason I don't do that here is it would, you know, every time a Beldum would appear, it would say, clear body did not allow its stats to be lowered, which would take a long time, which is not what I wanted. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, next video, I'm going to talk about how to get a female shiny Salandit 66% of the time. So it's not a perfect method, but it's better than any method I've seen so far, I think. Anyway, take care.